Hello everyone. Wow, can you believe it? Episode number 50. It went so fast. <laughs> Next week uh, I'll be um, two months, four months wet shaving. So it's been a great ride. And uh, today, wow, I have a lot of growth. I don't know if it's a uh, full moon or something like that, but I shaved. Friday morning or Thursday night, I can't remember. We have a lot of growth. And I ordered a, uh, a new board brush, a smoke, smoke brush that I'll be using uh, in a couple weeks. And also I might travel shave on the first week of August. And uh, well, I'm home. I'm going to be shaving with the the planet vetiver and trying to finish these uh, samples with my trusty black beauty on setting I'm gonna put setting 5 now because I have a lot of growth and uh, Astra green also going to be using the uh, prep appreciate that happened on this little top over here and I'm also using a little bit of uh, warm water that I have on my on my sink, on a little place in my sink. My wife is watching. Uh, what's the name of the movie? Uh, up in the air. I can't remember. This I put the the name of the movie. It's a great movie. So Gwyneth Paltrow movie, back from 2003. It's a it's a comedy, a very cool comedy. It also appears. Uh, uh, Mark Ruffalo and uh, Witness Paul Pro. Very cool movie. I'm going to watch it with her after my shave. So let me wipe my face a little bit. I'm using the hot water bath for my razor as I realize that it works better than than cold water also using my my um, restore um, rubber set with a ace ace uh, shaving silver tip uh, soaking this, this little vase over here and I have the the soaps uh, spread along the bottom of this little nut this little bowl so have you uh, how are you doing how is your weekend today was football day and it happened what I wanted to happen <laughs> and I wanted to what I wanted is that uh, Argentina got eliminated and you might say oh well, why why do you why do you want something bad to happen well I didn't want specifically bad to happen to any of those guys what I don't like is the way that the first the Argentinian people have been behaving on the on the soccer matches even bullet some guy I can't remember where from that's not good that's not right also the uh, the uh, the coach mentioned in a in a in an interview that he, he wanted to apologize with apologize with uh, Lionel Messi for not having a proper team for him I mean what's that means that the, the rest of the team is nothing they don't they don't play they they're just I don't know what uh, like stamped on a wall or something like that so they don't do anything they don't have I mean they, they, they don't have the the, um, the team the team uh, way of doing things if you know what I mean 
I mean, the whole team is uh, revolve around Messi, and I don't think that is the way, the right way to do things, especially in a soccer team. And as you can see, Portugal also got eliminated with uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. So the two big stars of the football today, which are Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, are going back home today. And that pleases me, because now we're going to have a great, great, great World Cup. The second thing I don't like about the Argentinian team is, uh, I mean, the third, but the first one was the the fans on the on the bullying other people, then the the coach. The third one is uh, the way Lionel Messi behaves when he's losing with the fans. The other day I saw a kid. He wanted to. To uh, say hi to him and just he's turn his back on him and uh, I don't like that either. And the fourth and worst thing about Argentinian team is Maradona. Maradona is a total and complete mess, and it's a mess also. A ridicule on himself, on the team, and on the country. He should not be invited to those games anymore. Quite frank, that's that's what I what I think. All right. So I'm going to start the first pass with the uh, Black Beauty and setting five. And other than that, well, today we had a hamburger Saturday. So I made uh, ketogenic hamburger patties and what's, what makes them ketogenic is not having any kind of bread or bread crumbs and uh, I also used uh, a homemade uh, mayonnaise made with a uh, extra virgin olive oil and uh, no sugar whatsoever no sea salt Himalayan sea salt
and uh, Himalayan sea salt, as I was saying. And uh, for the bread, I used lettuce, big pieces of lettuce. Of course, my family just use bread because only my daughter, my younger daughter, is following me on the keto sometimes. Not all the time because, well, her mother is not in that and only when I buy things I can give her. Otherwise she has to do what, what I was cooked at home and it's usually not keto. Okay. Oh, it's a relaxing shave. I was in their need of that one. Okay, pass two, same setting. Now, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. <clears throat> Let me clean up here. I'll be right back. I'll unblock. See what I did? I buffed, buffed a little bit over here without any soap in that. I shouldn't do that. And the almond block is saying, hey, you did this and you irritated yourself. So don't do that. So
nice and refreshing. Well, the World Cup continues tomorrow um, until the 15th of the month. So, a couple weeks more to go. That uh, to be fun. Today's game with the friends, wow, awesome game. The goals, wow, amazing, these guys. Oh, I'm very sorry. <laughs> the storage on this iPhone got full, so let me real quick put in my, my aftershave to finish up this and wrap up this shave. Mmm, nice burn. And I'm going to top it off with a little bit of uh, the Gillette lotion. This one over here. Okay, gents, thank you for uh, for uh, being with me in this video. Uh, this is episode 50, and I uh, hope there are uh, at least 50 more or more to go. And I uh, hope you're having a great weekend, and I uh, hope you have a great Sunday tomorrow, and uh, see you on the next shave. Bye.